now at Yale, and uh, makes me pretty sad. You know, it's uh, Saturday morning right now. Just had a great Friday night. It was a lot of fun, but uh, woke up to the to the stunning truth that I want to spend the entirety of the next couple of days studying because. There's one more week till spring break, and this is the last week, and they're throwing all the midterms at me at once. And I still have P-sets to do. I have a lab, I have P-sets, and uh, you know what? I thought today I would try to remain optimistic despite the stressful period, and take you guys along with me as I study with midterms, and maybe give you guys some tips along the way. So with that, I'm gonna head down to my number one grind spot, the TD Buttery, and uh, let's get to work. Porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. A lot of people kind of question why I choose to study in the TD Buttery, despite how musty and kind of not super, I'd say, you know, nice it is. But it has its charm, okay? Uh, you gotta recognize TD for what it is. And, uh, oh, I keep saying TD. For those of you that don't know, TD is my residential college here at Yale. And uh, I love it to death, despite what some people say. All right, and the day is off to a great start because I can't even get the elevator to work. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're taking the stairs. Saturday, March 2nd, and uh, it is the last weekend that I'm here at Yale before spring break, and let me tell you, I am psyched, but the problem is, is this last week is full of midterms, full of midterms. So I actually have two midterms this week. I have one on Monday, which is my artificial intelligence midterm, and then the following Wednesday, I have my digital systems midterm. So. A lot of work to do this week. In addition, I think Monday is when my digital systems lab is due, so I'll be working on that today as well. But as you can see, I'm just chilling here all by myself in the Timothy Dwight buttery. Um, definitely one of my favorite study spots. Now, home and Tommy were here a little bit ago, but they had to go dip to figure out housing for next year. So yeah, I'm just here. I got the AI textbook up on this window. I got a Google Doc that I'm taking notes in right here. Just trying to make sure I understand all the major concepts uh, for this midterm because it's a grind. So I guess in this video, I'll try to give you guys some of my midterm study tips. Uh, but before I do, I actually need to make some progress. I can't worry about filming this video right now, but uh, yeah, give me, give me a couple hours of work in and then I'll give you guys some tips on how to study for your midterms, whether you're in high school, whether you're in college, or just, just some general study tips. I feel like they would be great. So we're still grinding AI, I'm doing some backtracking, constraint, satisfaction, satisfaction problems. I can't even talk today. I was wondering if Noam could uh, provide us with any helpful advice since he finally decided to join us in the TD Buttery. I still don't know how to study. Year two, we're still learning. So, no tips? <laughs> Start earlier than I do. <laughs> All right, it's only been three minutes and uh, the squad's here and we're already talking about spring break. Tommy, you got big spring break plans? Yep. No Tommy and I are actually, we're spending the first week in St. Simon's Island, Georgia. Uh, we have an Airbnb, a full house. You hyped? It's been a good time oh, yeah. on the beach. Very hyped. But until, before then, we have uh, this to finish. What are you working on? Your, what's number three? Explain to the viewers. Uh, Digital systems. Know, right? so it's the best with this coder and make a ball bounce on this thing. Yeah, so we have like an screen. LED display and we're supposed to somehow display a ball on the LED screen and make it bounce and control the speed of the bouncing with the rotary encoder. This going to be pretty nuts, actually. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. I got to somehow set this up so it's like this controls like the distance my hand is from this sensor. 
and that controls what color this RGB LED is. And then this guy right here is a photo cell, which controls brightness. So, don't know how that's gonna work. So brightness of LED, color of LED, and haven't made much progress so far, but we're working. About an hour later and a couple fixes to our code, we finally have something that actually works. Watch this. So the bulb's blue. When we have something in front of it, we move it back, it turns green, take the hand away, and it's red. And then also we have this photo cell. So if I shine a flashlight on the photo cell, the bulb gets dimmer, I take it away, it brightens back up. Part two of three of the lab is done. Feeling pretty accomplished. Calling it a day. I was an idiot and accidentally broke the rotary encoder we had to use for our lab. So now I have to track all the way to the seed to get another one. But at least at Yale, you have a place where you can just go and grab random electrical components, which is pretty sick. And they didn't have any. So uh, now we're screwed. I don't know, I gotta find it's the weekend, so obviously we're professors in here. I gotta find some way to find a rotary encoder and uh, finish this project. So we're in a good spot. This is midterm season. It's just, this is an exciting episode of the vlog. Man, a lot is happening. By the way, look at this view. This is one of my favorite views on campus. That's SSS. <sighs> All right, just gotta stay positive. Another tip for midterm season. Stay positive because unexpected stuff is gonna happen and you're just gonna have to deal with it. So that was a little bit of a rough way to end kind of the six hour all day grind session that we had today, but uh, we're gonna figure it out. We asked our professor, we'll figure something out. So I've gotten a lot of requests that I haven't shown enough of New Haven, haven't been to any cool restaurants. It's just been all dining hall footage. So I actually have a little bit of surprise for you tonight. Me and my buddy Jack Jensen, we're going to go hit up Pepe's, which is one of the famous pizza spots in New Haven. And if you haven't heard, New Haven pizza is one of the best things on the planet. Jensen, where are we? We are at the one and only Frank Pepe Pizza Ray Napolitana, which is, uh, I mean, all the new Yaleys on your uh, on your YouTube channel probably know that that Pe they probably they've probably heard of Pepe's, but they probably haven't seen the man himself. There this he is. This is him. We just waited uh, about 30 minutes to get this pizza to go. Uh, we went through the drive-through at the spot. So. Yeah, the actual line to get in the restaurant was probably what two hours. Probably, yeah. I mean, we can, we, we can actually show on. Oh, look at that. That's not happening. Not tonight. All right. That might be our lift. So Pepe's was amazing as usual. It's good to get off campus for a little bit and go out to eat. Um, obviously, if you guys want to see a, maybe I should go out and compare, you know, Sally's Pizza and Modern Pizza as well. So if that's something you want to see, let me know. Anyways, it's a Saturday night. I'm headed out to somebody's surprise birthday party. Um, and then we'll probably do some other stuff after that. Not sure where the night's gonna take me, but it should be a good time. I'll try to film some stuff. We'll see what happens.